My name is Margaret Brennan and I'm the chairperson of the Boundless Law Act of Retirement. The Boundless Law Act of Retirement are celebrating 20 years in existence on the 26th of March 2002, um, today. The aim is to enable older people to lead healthy and active lives, empowering them to get the most out of their retirement through support and friendship whilst looking out for one another. The mission is to stop loneliness through information and uh, communication. The organisation runs smoothly and effectively through an elected committee. They are supported by subcommittees and spokespeople for the hobby groups. The branch held their, hold their meetings in Golan's Hotel. Monthly meetings are held on the first Wednesday of every month in Golan's. Informal meetings take place every other Wednesday at 3 p.m., that is tea, coffee and a chat. Various trips, shows, courses, informative talks and activities are arranged throughout the year. As our motto is be active, be healthy, members are encouraged to participate in the activities of their choice. Our membership has grown to upwards of 200 members. Our members take part in voluntary work for the local organisations such as Vincent de Paul, Social Services, Care and Repair, as well as raising money for local charities. My name is Anne Drury and I'm National President of Active Retirement Ireland and I'm delighted to be here today with Boundless Law Active Retirement Association to help them celebrate 20 years in existence after two years of not being able to go out and visit ARAs and for the ARA members not being able to go out and meet each other and have all their activities that they usually had pre-COVID. So I'm absolutely thrilled to be here today with uh, Badness Law Act Retirement Association to join in with their celebrations of 20 years on their 20th anniversary. I go around to many of the activities around the country and have been able to do so over the last month or so and our members are just so excited to be able to resume their usual activities. Now they're doing that carefully and cautiously while we, we have to learn to uh, coexist with COVID and I suppose we have to take personal responsibility and collective responsibility but our members are just, they after being two years isolate, in isolation and restricted, they just want to get back to their usual activities and the number of activities that are being planned, their trips being planned abroad, at home, around the country, the usual activities uh, that take place in all the areas around the country are up and going and we are back. I always said we would come back better and stronger and we are in the process of doing that. And Barra and Bala Slow is one of our very active hours. I've known Deirdre Hogan as a member here for a long time since we met at meetings and that. And I know they do wonderful activities. And I think when Chris spoke about the, the need that she saw for herself or for other people in Banla Slow when she started the hour 20 years ago on the 6th of March uh, uh, 2020 and how it has grown, there are 45 people came to the very first meeting and now they have grown to over 200 members and I suppose that's testament to the founder members and all the committee members and the members themselves for the way they came together and organised their activities and just had so much fun. In Active Retirement Ireland our whole ethos is to stave off loneliness and isolation and to extend the hand of friendship to everyone and I think that has been done very well and I, I just congratulate and I commend the members here in this wonderful uh, organisation here, Barra in Bandless for having done that.